Okay, so this is the product that I'm using right here. It's called Microstop. Now, there's a, there's a couple of companies that make a couple of different products like this. I'm not sure if they're all using the same um, type of active ingredient, which is what you see right here. This is the active ingredient right here. All right, I'm not sure if they're all using the same active ingredient. They may or may not be. And I don't know if you can intermix these ingredients with one another. So let's say you want to use Microstop and the other brand and they're two different ingredients, you put them together. I don't know if you're gonna have a conflict in your soil from doing that. So I would say if you're gonna treat your soil, pick one that you like and then just use that one. I, in my particular case, I'm going with Microstop. I did some research on this product. I like the reviews I've read about it. And they're saying that some people were saying in the review sections they applied it according to the instructions and blah, 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 blah. And some people were saying that it kind of helped, but it didn't really kill, it, kill off the disease. It just kind of allowed the plant to finish its life cycle for the rest of the year, whereas in years past, the normal plant would have been dead by now. So it still kind of had it, but it kind of dragged its way through to the end. And uh, it... it you know, still was able to give them fruit, but it didn't kill a disease. That's what some people said. Other people said they applied it and uh, it killed it off perfectly. It was it absolutely killed off all the disease. Their garden finished perfectly healthy and fine, and they were done. So you know, I'm hearing different reviews from different people. I'm, I'm under the assumption it really depends on whether how bad you have the disease. I mean, obviously I broke some of those branches off and you didn't see a lot of brown in it. So it might just be starting to attack the plant or it might, it's probably having a hard time getting a foothold on my plant because I have the Bokashi in there and the other mycorrhizas in there. So maybe those things are actually interfering with the uh, fissarium or verticillium from spreading any more than it is. It, very possible, but it's not having the same effect it did last year. Last year, as soon as I started seeing some wilt leaf, the whole plant started dying and stunting right away. So it was pretty much game over as soon as I started seeing some of the leaves drop and wilt. So we're going to apply this product. I'll, get, I'll let you look at, you know, the what it says here and the instructions. You can read all this stuff. Just pause the video as you see fit where you want I'll try to zoom you in here I don't know if the camera's totally focusing you should read all this stuff really look into it I tried looking online for all this details I really couldn't find anything it's just you gotta just order the product and read it when you get it here's the other side on the inside this is just like safety precautions and uh, it tells you to be careful. You don't want to inhale it because this stuff you don't want in your lungs. It's a living spore, so you don't want to, you don't want this in your lungs. And so I paid about I don't know fifteen or sixteen dollars for it, something like that, for two ounces. And this is how it comes. It came pretty quick too. They I didn't even wait. I don't think four days for it. So I've been I, I've been waiting longer for my water to dechlorinate than I am for this to get this product. So. Here is the, uh, here's how it comes. It comes like that. Just a little package. And we're going to use half of this product. So let's see, what, let's see if what it weighs here. Let me try to zoom you in. See if we're actually getting our two grams, as they said, right? So this should weigh like two and a half or two and a quarter grams. So let's turn on the scale. Yeah, I guess that's about six grams. Well, don't forget, too, you got this package. So, yeah, you're probably getting the full two grams in the package. So, you are getting what you pay for. And from what I've read about this company, it's a pretty reputable company. It's not like, you know, it's not an unscrupulous company. But this is what the package looks like. I'll try to get it so you can read it. That's all it says on the package. Here's the other side. So we're going to apply, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that package down to two. I'm going to weigh out an ounce, uh, a gram of it, and I'm going to put that gram in a smaller mixing container and let it mix, inoculate that container, and then I'm going to add that to my five gallons, and then we will distribute it according, accordingly. I'll show you me doing it to some plants, and then that's it. So I will be right back. All right, so let's, let's measure out a gram. 
and we're going to add that to a a concentrate one gram and then we're going to mix that into a five gallon bucket and the directions are kind of skewed as far as how to mix it and so what I want to do is I want it, it basically a two gram package can treat anywhere between a hundred to 200 square feet of garden soil so I don't believe I even have 200 square feet I probably got maybe a hundred something square feet if you would have just like square it up I don't even think I have that it's probably less than 100 square feet but basically what I'm doing is I went around and I counted up all the pots that I need to apply this material to and I came up with about 75 plants and pots that I want to treat so what I needed to do is I needed to come up with a a measurement that I'm going to apply an even amount to every one of my plants and pots so I am roughly coming up with if I can use a cup worth something like this one cup a five gallon pail almost full will give me about 75 to 80 cupfuls of distribution so I roughly got around 75 plants so if there's any left over, I can spread that out either to plants that really look like they're getting hit hard. So I'll give them a double dose in the end. Or I can maybe use it on some of my pepper plants that don't look like they're doing that good. Because this can actually be used to boost the plant's growing behavior as well. It actually enhances the growing behavior. So you can add it to some of your other plants if you've got a little left over. But either way, you have to use the entire plant mix you can't leave it around for more than 24 hours or even a few hours from what i've read you got to use it right away you got to mix it get it to blend in and then use it basically is what i've read about it so what we're going to do here is we're going to add one gram to that concentrate we're going to get that concentrate to blend in they recommend doing it in a small container first because it's a powder and it doesn't want to incorporate very easy so you got to give it a few minutes for it to speed up if you add it to the full container in one shot it's really hard to get it mixed properly so they recommend mixing it in a small batch first and then add that to your total mix so like i told you my total mix is going to consist of 75 plants at one cup of uh treatment per plant per pot so that means i need 75 cups of mixed product in the end at least that much yeah, I'm probably going to be a little over on that, but that's fine. So around 75 cups is what we're looking for. For me, that's about what a five-gallon pail of water is going to equal. So that's why I'm going with those measurements. I actually measured it out cup by cup. So that's how I'm doing it. Some people will tell you, no, add it to one gallon and mix that gallon up. And that means if you do that, now you've got to put tighter concentrations down. So now that means I, instead of me using a whole cup, I can use a half cup, but now I got to break down my five gallon pail to even a smaller concentration. Does it, it, it just seems like it might make it more difficult uh, to apply it to your, your pots. So in other words, instead of that one cup, I'd have to use half cup and, and basically make it a half five gallon pail. So that's what some people are saying to do. Use the more concentrate uh, version of it. I, I'm going with the five gallon. I'm going to use a full cup. And after you incorporate that into the water and it's mixed really good and everything, at that point, you should get an even distribution in your pot. I need a little bit more than just pouring a little quarter cup down into each pot. I, I need to be able to spread it around on a pot a little bit, you know. I, I feel a cup will definitely incorporate some of the um some of this uh my, mycostop or biofungi biofungide fungicide. So it'll it'll spread it out a little better. So let's open this up. Like that. Now, from what I've read on it, you got to be really careful. You do not breathe this in. There's a lot of cautions about it. It's not that it's poisonous or GMO or anything like that. It's that this is a living organism, and you don't want this living organism in your lungs. All right? So keep that in mind. There is some cautions with it. So let's turn our scale back on.
And so down here, if you could see it, down here is the gram. So we want one gram. If I can get it on the scale, I might not be able to read it. I may have to get a gunpowder scale. That's the whole package already. Oh, wow. I'm not going to be able to measure it because the scale just doesn't go that low. Now, you're probably saying, why don't I just add the whole package to it? I guess I could. One treatment, that's $15 in one shot. I figured I'd go double dose with it. But I guess I could add the whole package. There's really not that much in here. There's not a lot of material in that. And now the wind's blowing, and that could be a very expensive disaster. But there's not a lot of material in it. So maybe I will add the full concentrate, you know, to the thing and just water it one time, and hopefully that does it. I did want to, I did want to treat it twice because they do recommend a, a second follow-up treatment. But this package would not be enough to do a follow-up with 75 plants it just simply would not be enough i would i should have went with the uh five gram package the five gram package you can treat you can easily treat it twice so i guess i'm gonna have no choice but to um just incorporate this whole package into it i was going to do it this way but it's just simply not enough for me okay and then i'm going to rinse these it in the uh the water outside and make sure I get every inch of this stuff. So basically what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to mix it in best I could. You could smell this stuff too, by the way. It has a smell to it. It doesn't smell bad. It just it does have an odor of some type. Very potent stuff. So you want to make sure you incorporate it like this. Give it a minute to, to break down and then add it to your watering container and then we're going to go and water our plants. So this is probably going to be a good product. I do have some faith in it. I like the reviews that I've read about it. So I do believe that it's going to be a somewhat effective product. It, it is a living organism. There is a date on here as far as expiration. If you could see it right here. Right over there. Uh, used before May 2019. So there is a date. And you want to make sure that that expiration date is current for your, you know, your year that you buy it. So this is going to take a few minutes. I'll show you what it looks like. If you look on the bottom without spilling it. Where are you? If you can see on the bottom a little bit, there's still some sediment. You basically want to wait until that kind of dissolves. And then once that's basically dissolved, then we'll add it to the water. I'll show you that. And then we'll, we'll water a few of these plants. And then uh, that'll be it. Okay, so let's. it's all ready. Everything is uh, basically mixed down. There might be a little bit of sediment on the bottom, but it's basically mixed down good enough. It's been about five minutes, and I'm just going to add it to it. So, And that should do it. And this is basically how we're going to apply it, one cup at a time. So, you basically want to grab your cup like so. Make sure it's close to full, if not all the way full. You know, as close to full as possible. Remember, there's going to be extra. And just... Oh, I didn't show you that one. It's hard to do this in one hand. and You really don't want to waste this stuff. You really don't want to get it on your skin either. You want to get it in there. All right, and that's what I'm going to do for all of these plants. I'll give you an update. I'll let you know what's going on. So 
I hope you liked the video. I hope it was somewhat informative. Uh, if you're considering buying Microstop, uh, give it a go. And uh, I don't know if the other brands are going to be any better or not, but this is not a paid advertisement by Microstop or Amazon or anything like that. I just simply chose that brand because I like the reviews and stuff I read on it. So it seemed like it had some good, good reviews. So give it a try if you're having a problem. I mean, what do you got to lose? All right. So stay tuned for the update and I'll see you on the next one.